okay guys we have seen this tutorial in last video that is the bullet penetrating this plate and if you see the elements are failing in this region and they are eroded now I'm going to stop this animation I can see the elements are stretched here and some elements are removed or eroded if I want to control all these things now whatever options I have used in this simulation are default Atodyne options now I can change uh, these settings in analysis settings now in this analysis settings if I go a little down I have some numbers and some settings are there I will directly go to uh, erosion control settings here you can see on geometric strain limit yes so erosion is on and which is on geometric strain limit limit is 1.5 it means the elements which crosses this geometric strain limit of 1.5 will be eroded and removed from computations they will not take part in the computations they will not provide any strength so this is actually the criteria which is actually governing here the failure or erosion of this materials it is not failure actually it is erosion so if we can see other options like this material failure is now is no so there is no failure defined in this case only erosion is active and that's why it is eroding and it is retained inertia of eroded materials yes means whatever the mass properties only material will not provide any strength but its mass properties or inertia will remain in computations it will not vanish otherwise it may create another problem solve solve or make it fail now let's play with these parameters suppose I change this to 3 now, this is our current results I change this geometric strain limit to 3 and then I will solve just just we'll see what happens with the elements there now, this simulation is complete now now uh, we'll see the results yes now you, you, you see we have increased the geometric strain limit so we are not allowing the to element we are allowing elements to strain more it is doubled as that of the last simulation so elements are strained more and some elements are below this limit of three are kept so like that you can change the results actually now we can make this erosion off um, we can make this failure on but for that we need we need to give a failure criteria in the material definition now let's keep it a three only uh, geometric strain limit now we will play with this material failure.
we're actually going to define actual material failure criteria so whenever this criteria is fulfilled the material will fail for that we need to go to engineering data just upon this engineering data we have used this aluminium for plate and steel for plate if you look at the aluminium these are the properties we have used uh, the Stenberg model to model the strength but we have not provided any failure criteria similarly for steel also we have given a Johnson cook as a strength model and not provided any failure criteria uh, failure criteria and this is for a bullet now we will not change anything for a bullet but we will change the some properties of this aluminium plate we want to add a failure criteria now to add the failure criteria we need to go here and pick the failure now there are number of ways material can means we can provide the failure criteria like plastic strain principal stress failure principal strain failure and depending on the material you can choose the failure criteria like if you want to if you are modeling a brittle material you can choose principal stress failure criteria and for all these things you you might have or you need the actual test data actual material test data so if you have actual stress strain data or simple stress strain test or some maybe uh, the manufacturer is providing the curves stress strain curves or all this data available in standards for the particular material so if we have all this test data available then it is always good to provide the failure criteria properly uh, depending on the class of the material like aluminum alloy is uh, highly elastic and uh, we can use this plastic strain failure criteria because it is not brittle so generally the ductile materials like aluminium we can safely assume that they are failing with plastic strain so we just double click on this now this plastic strain will come here now we can give the failure criteria so this is equivalent plastic strain uh, this is for this term itself needs some explanation and I will provide this explanation in coming tutorials all right just now we safely assume that at just put some number at suppose point three of the strain material will fail just give some number means if strain crosses point three the material will fail just I have put some number we'll see the results of this input I'll just refresh all data so that the material properties get updated here and then uh, let's change this to 
option no now we will only use the erosion of material on material failure so whenever there is failure of the material the elements will get eroded okay I am just solving this problem now. This problem is finished, terminated as wrap up time is reached. So we can see the results now. I can see the results after providing the failure criteria means no. It, the results are totally changed there is not much prolongation of the elements because we have provided only 0.3 strain so it is very small strain and for this small strain you just see the elements are removed immediately because 0.3 strain is achieved very quickly with such a high velocity impact so if you have actual data you can provide that strain value it is a true strain value you need to provide and if you provide this value you will get you will get the exact results so this is the beauty of this simulation so for this simulations you need precise material data otherwise you you can get anything okay thanks for watching